easily could have said like I'm messed up or like you know I'm not right. But there's like just recording and singing out like especially live, just being like I'm fucked up. Like I don't know. There's something like it relieving sounds, about it. Sounds it. more real. It sounds yeah. more raw to like actually cuss because that's what that's what we do as humans. You know, we're not gonna say oh, I messed up. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm fucked up. Fucked up. <laughs> yeah. The night before we wrote Get Better, I like sat on my balcony. It was like one of those like movie moments where I was just sitting out there and I was like, like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> like nothing was like terrible, but it was just, you get so in your head. And I was just like, I don't know what to do. And my girlfriend came out and I was like so afraid to even just be like, I don't know what I'm doing. And the moment I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and it just like started like, had like a mental breakdown. So I said to Scott, I was like, dude, just real talk. Like I had a shitty night last night and, uh, he was open to writing about it. Walking around like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. Two big boulders trying to get up, but I'm sinking. I kicked off the verse talking about how overwhelmed that I was feeling at that time. With work and balancing friendships and relationships and stuff like that, it feels like the whole world is on your shoulders. And that's why we used that line to start it. And I'm plagued by all my overthinking. It's not that bad, but it feels that bad. Little things build up. It's ironic that these things that build up break me down so bad. I've been an overthinker my entire life. I remember like trying to go to bed at night and I would lay up for two or three hours not being able to go to sleep. And that's been my problem my entire life. I would think about little things that happened throughout the day that I wished I did differently or happened differently. Sometimes I would, I would get up in the middle of the night like crying about how my underwear wasn't fitting on me perfectly because I was just thinking about everything so much that like, I was like, is something wrong with me? Like, constantly. And honestly, it's all of me. I gotta learn to let things go. What's wrong with me is so hard to see. It's like nobody else knows what's going on, but you do. I always think about that Fight Club quote, the ability to let what does not matter truly slide or something like that. And like, you just have to let things go. Like you can't let everything get to you or you'll tear yourself apart. That's why I take it all out on you. I'm so frustrated, so stressed out, just can't help it, I'm breaking down. That's directed to my girlfriend in a relationship. I feel like a lot of the things that are wrong with you, only the people that are very close to you can know and understand what's going on. And when you're always venting to that one person, whether it's your girlfriend, your family, your best friends, you, you take it out on the people closest to you because they understand you. I'm sorry for breaking down in front of you. I'm fucked up, don't know what else I can do. I'm trying to pull myself together. I'm trying, trying to get better. I'm sorry for breaking down in front of you. I'm fucked up, don't know what else I can do. I'm trying to pull myself together. I'm trying, trying to get better. I know that I take my emotions out on the people around me. Even if it's not in a completely negative way, I'll still be like a grumpy person because I'm so busy at work or stressed out by all the things I have to do. And I would try to trying to pull myself together and not do that to other people. We wanted to have like a silver lining at the end of it. It's like, it's not just like, I'm fucked up, deal with it. It's like, yeah. no, I want to get better. Like I'm trying to. <laughs> if I say it right now, would that change anything? I want to get better, it's going to get better. If I say it right now, would that change anything? I want to get better, it's going to get better. If I say it right now, would that change anything? If I say it right now, if I say it right now, would it change anything? I'm a huge believer, yeah, like of speaking things into existence and uh, being super conversational in the lyrics. So it was, it was kind of the idea of just talking about it. It's like, if I say I want to get better, like, will it? My thought when it comes to if I say it right now, would it change anything is, is more negative. Like, are my words going to mean anything? Like, actions speak louder than words, right? Yeah. So maybe I just need to be better and saying anything, saying something won't change it. But, but ultimately, the idea is that you're putting it out there and hopefully that will change things. I needed some fresh air. I take a step outside. You come and find me saying something doesn't seem right. I remember playing it for her and just being like, hey, uh, I wrote this verse with Scott, uh, check it out. And I played the song and she just started crying. And I was like, I'm really sorry. She's like, no, and just, I just remember like how sad you were and like how, you know, 
thought she was the best. <laughs> but I don't want to open up, because I don't want to bring you down. Everything was great in our relationship, and I was like, this has nothing to do with you, and I hate that I'm, like, upset. Like, I have every reason to be happy. Our relationship's perfect and everything, but, like, sometimes there's just, like, a struggle upstairs that's just, like, I'm, I'm like, sorry for doing this. But these teardrops come pouring now. I'm just not myself, no. I just need some help, no. And that's the hardest part, letting go of fear. But it's a change you gotta make, so I'm singing now. I wanna get better, it's gonna get better. My friend gave me this analogy, like you're going 80 miles an hour down the highway, throwing everything in the back seat, and it was like at that moment I hit zero, and everything came like pouring forward. And I think it was just like, okay, what? Like, I need to address this now, because like, I'm now not being me at all. And my girlfriend was a huge help with helping me get better and figure out what was going on. I was worried that I wasn't perceiving reality the right way, because I was thinking so hard. I was like, what if I don't, like everything that's happening around me, I'm perceiving the wrong way, like, and, and I don't understand what's going on. Like, there's something wrong in my head. Like, it, it was a really weird thought, but <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense.